What is up, Math Superstars? In this edition of Mr. Peterson Presents, I'm bringing to you Objective 6.18. We're talking about one-step equations. And so just to review from a previous lesson about it, the terminology of expressions and equations, when we talk about an equation, this is a math sentence that does contain, your fill in the blank, is an equal sign. And so some real quick terms to review. The goal of solving an equation is to find out the value of the variables. So in the ones we're going to be dealing with, we're going to be trying to find the value of whatever the letter is in the number sentence. We call that the variable. So but you've been doing these one-step equations probably since first or second grade. So you might have seen something like the following example. You have five plus a star equals eight. And your first or second grade teacher said, what it does the star equal? And so in, in your little first or second grade head, you went five plus what number equals eight? So you said this lovely little star here, which I'm gonna draw for you. Oh, that's really pathetic. That's okay, equals three, because you knew that five plus three equals eight. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna substitute that star for a letter. I know it's not that I know it's not that fun and exciting like seeing a smiley face or a star or whatever your favorite shape was, but that's what we're dealing with in one step equations with our introduction to algebra. And so when we do this, all we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get the variable on one side of the equation and we use this term called inverse operations. So this word inverse, anytime you see that, what we're doing is we're trying to find whatever the opposites operation is from what is shown. So these inverse operations undo each other. And so the inverse of addition, we just find out what's the opposite of addition. We say that is subtraction. And the inverse of subtraction, you guessed it, is addition. And then we're just going to keep on going. The inverse of multiplication is division. And the inverse operation of our friend division is called multiplication. And so this information is going to be handy dandy for us in solving one step equations. So thankfully in this video, we're just going to focus on, we're just going to focus on two of these. We're, we're actually going to focus on addition and subtraction problems only in this, in this video. Our next video, we, we will deal with the multiplication and division. So here we're given this problem. We have Johnny here. Our friend John has X amount of apples. And so that's our variable. If he adds eight apples to, or five apples to his pile, he will have a total of eight apples. As you can see, I'm just kind of underlining, underlining key phrases here. So we have X, he adds five, and he will have eight apples. What is the value of X? So our very first step is we need to write out an equation for this. So our equation would be X, and then he adds five, plus five, and at the end, it will equal eight. So the question is asking, what is eight? What is the value of X? So the way this works is we're going to undo this addition of five. And the way we do this and the way we're gonna write it is we're gonna take away five from both sides of our equation here. So what we do now, so we need, you need to show this step, by the way, show this step always. We know you can do this in your head, but you need to show this step because future problems will build on each other. I'm sorry, show this step, singular. Put exclamation point there. So what this looks like is this gets X by itself. We bring down our equal sign. And then we do right here, we do eight minus five, and that gives us three. So right now we have X equaling three after we've written an equation and we solve for x. All that means is we got x by itself. 
So now at the very end, we need to go ahead and check our answer here. So we found out that x was equal to 3. So now let's go ahead and check. So we're going to rewrite our number sentence here. So we have x plus 5 is equal to 8. And we said that x was equal to 3. So we're going to fill in 3 for x here. So we're going to do 3. And then we're going to bring down plus 5 equals 8. And since we know that is a true statement, our check works out perfectly fine for us. So you can put a check there. Uh, you can put a little smiley face. You can put a little heart there since the checks. You can do the Mr. Peterson double check, a little star. Knowing that at the very end, you double checked your own work here. So now we have a second example. We have Maddie has X amount of dollars. After spending $90 on a purse, she will have $45 left. What is the value of X? So we're going to write out our number sentence. So we know that Maddie has, she starts out with X amount of dollars and she spends 90 of those dollars. So if we're spending $90, we are subtracting and then she will have left $45. So here we've successfully written a number sentence for this. This is our very first step. Our second step now is we need to do the inverse or the opposite of subtraction to get x by itself. So the opposite of subtraction is addition. So we're going to be adding to both sides. And all we're doing is we're doing the opposite. So we're going to bring down our 90 here since we know that we are, we, since we subtracted 90, we're now going to add 90. So we need to do that to both sides of our equation. So what that does is it gets x by itself. And then all we do now on the right hand side of the equation, we're going to add these two numbers together here. So we're going to add 45 plus 90, and that's going to give us $135 that she started with. And you guessed it, now we have to check our work here. So our original equation, we had x minus 90 equals 45. So all we're going to do now is we're going to fill in the value of x that we found, which was 135 minus 90 equals 45. So let's go ahead and check that now. 135 minus 90. So if I'm going to do subtraction here, if I don't have a calculator available, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to perform all of the steps here for subtraction. So bring a 5 and then 13 minus 9 is 4. And so we know that since my subtraction came out, this answer checks out. So I'm going to put a check, a star, smiley face, heart, Mr. Peterson double check. So we're just checking our work when we're finished. So now we have just a few more examples here. So let's rock and roll with these. So we have just x plus 2 equals 10. So the opposite of addition here is subtraction. So we're going to take away 2 from both sides of our equation. So we notice that the x is already brought down for us. Our equal sign is already brought down. And then we just do 10 minus 2 is going to give us 8. So we can say that x equals 8. So now let's go ahead and check our work here. So we're going to replace x with 8, 8 plus 2 equals 10, and ta-da, we know that this checks out, so let's put a little smiley face inside of, inside of the 10 and put a little check there. Let's try this one. So we have y minus 8 is going to give us 15, and so the opposite of subtraction is addition, so let's go ahead and add 8 to both sides of our equation. Our y is already brought down for us, so now let's just solve 15 plus 8. This is going to give us 23. So we can say that y is equal to 23. And now let's go ahead and check. So we're going to replace 23 for y. So let's do 23 minus 8 equals 15. And so let's go ahead and subtract those 23 minus 8. You can see I'm just doing some steps here. I'm, going to, I'm borrowing here. So 13 minus 8 is 5, bring down the 1. So we know that our answer checks out. And so let's put a couple checks there, knowing that we checked our work, knowing that y is equal to 23. 
And last but not least, with example number three, we're going to do the opposite of addition here, which is subtraction. So we're going to take away nine from both sides. So we have A is going to be equal to 12 minus nine, which gives us three. So now let's go ahead and check our work here. And so we're going to check our work. So we're going to fill in for A, we're going to fill in three. So we're going to do three plus nine equals 12. So with some mental math, we know that this checks out. And so we are in great shape with that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have some more practice coming up here. So in your classwork, we have some example problems for you to try. We're asking that you would show your work. So exactly like these examples here, you're gonna do the inverse operations. You're gonna show your steps and we're also gonna ask you to check your work when you're finished.